In question six, we're asked to state the laws governing oblique collisions, and then we're told two sh such spheres A and B of mass five and ten. Five and ten collide obliquely. So this is where spheres, because they're smooth, the forces they exert on one another are along the i-axis. So the j velocities remain unchanged by the impact. So we can use the conservation of momentum and Newton's law of restitution to solve these equations. So we're told here the coefficient of restitution is 1 over 7. And that immediately before the collision, the velocity of a is 5i plus 4j. A, 5i plus 4j. And b, we have minus 2i minus 3j. And obviously afterwards then we're going to have AI plus 4J. And we're going to have BI minus 3J. So applying our two Newton law, Newton's laws here, the conservation of momentum we we'll start with. So we'll say the first mass 5 times 5 in the I direction plus 10 times minus 2 the i direction is equal to 5 times a plus 10 times b so 25 minus 20 5 equals 5a plus 10b or 1 is equal to a plus 2b newton's law of restitution we're going to get a minus b v1 minus v2 over u1 minus u2 5 minus minus 2 this time so 7 equals minus e minus 1 over 7 so a minus b is equal to minus 1 by cancelling the denominators or multiplying by minus 7 or multiplying by 7 and we also have above a plus 2b so this will be 2a minus 2b equals minus 2 multiplying this one by 2 bringing this one down we can say a plus 2b is equal to 1. So 3a is equal to minus 1. So a is equal to minus 1 over 3. And if a is equal to minus 1 over 3, minus 1 over 3 plus 2b equals 1. So 2b is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3, which is 4 over 3. So that means that b will be equal to 2 over 3. So we have fractions here. A is minus a third and B is equal to 2 thirds. In part 2 we're asked to show that the loss of kinetic energy is 80 joules. Let's just keep everything here. We have A and B. So let's just put our magnitude of our velocities in here. We're going to have the square root of 25 plus 16. 41. Here we're going to have the square root of 4 plus 9. 13 here we're going to have the square root of a is one third so that's squared one over nine plus 16 16 and one over nine and in here b is two thirds so squaring that we're going to get four over nine and squaring three nine we're going to get nine and four over nine so a half mu squared for kinetic energy will give me a half times 5 times the square root of 41 to be squared which is 2.5 times 41 which is 41 and 41 which is 82 and 20.5 103.5 plus a half 10 by root 13 to be squared which is 5 times 13 which is 65 so that's 168 it looks like beforehand in joules. So the next one is 88.8. .8. So we're going to get a half times 5 times the square root of 16 and 1 ninth to be squared, which is 2.5 by 16 and 1 ninth. And then we're going to have a half times 10 times the square root of 9 and 4 ninths to be squared, which is 5 times 9 and 
four knights. We add these together. These two work out to be 87.5, So 168.5 minus 87.5 equals 80 joules and then there is one more part calculate to the nearest degree the angle through which b is deflected by the collision so let's just keep these variables here so b is traveling with this negative two negative three so it's kind of coming in in this direction if we imagine zero zero being here and then it's deflected off bi minus 3j and b was two thirds wasn't it two thirds so positive two to two thirds two over three minus three j it is positive negative which is down in this direction so look for the angle between two lines so we have our two slopes the inverse tan in here let's see the angle a the inverse tan when we just have the slopes here we can get the this the tan of a is equal to and just use the angle between the lines let me actually make this a little bit longer let's see what directions what's happening here so this angle a is going to be the inverse tan of the three over the two is 56.31 degrees 56.31 degrees down in this direction and then in here angle B is going to be the inverse tan of 3 divided by 2 thirds 3 divided by 2 thirds is going to be 9 over 2 the inverse tan of 9 over 2 that's 80 8.73 degrees and that should read not 88 I thought that was a bit high it's 77.5 to one decimal so it's, we bounded off in that direction now it was coming down in this direction and we said that was the origin so what have we got going on here let me just change color we have 56.3 so in here we're going to have 33.4 with your vertically opposite angles from first year 33.4 this one 77.5 so this one is going to be 12.5 to get me to 90 so the change in direction is from here it was going this direction now it's going in this direction so these two are the change 33.4 12.5 is that right 33.7 7 7 can't read my own 33.7 and 12.5 25 and 1.2 46.2 degrees is the change in direction